My boy. What's up, bro? What's good with you? How you feeling? I'm doing good. What about you? Chilling, chilling, bro. Appreciate you joining me today, bro. No problem. Thanks for having me. How you, how you and the fam holding up, bro? With everything going on, y'all good? Everybody good? Everybody doing good. Couldn't ask to be better. For sure, so, for sure. So. Got you. All right, bro. Chilling, man. You know, everybody, you know, staying safe, you know. I ain't going out if I ain't got to, you know, all that. Yeah. All right, bro. We finna get right into it. Who is the GOAT? MJ, Kobe, or Braun? And then put them in order. That's tough, bro. It just depends. Like, honestly, I feel like that's a painted question. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for you. You know what I'm saying? It's all for you, based off you. For me, I'm going with Kobe because Kobe was my generation as far as, like, Kobe was my mic. LeBron might be these kids' mic right now, but Kobe was my mm -hmm. Okay. So, who, who, what's your order? I'm going Kobe, Mike, LeBron. Okay. Okay. All right, who's your favorite NBA player, bro? Right now, Paul George. Paul George. Is he anybody in the game that you pat in your game after? Paul George. Paul George? All right, for so, sure. Uh, your favorite basketball moment? Personally or just, like, an NBA moment? Anything for you. You know what I'm saying? Anything. Personally, it'll probably be what we just – what I just experienced this last season with my team as far as being the first All-American in my school history. Uh, oh yeah, that was that was big, bro. Shout out to you on that one. Congrats on that. They showed a lot of love for that one. Um, first time, like it was the first time for a lot of things at my school. First time uh -huh. uh, conference title. First time winning twenty five plus games. First. Time, oh, y'all was over there hooping. First time hitting top twenty five. First time hitting top fifteen. First time hitting top ten. And first. That boy, that boy is always over there hooping. <laughs> And getting a win in the national tournament for the whole uh, Corona situation. So we was on track to win the national tournament. So y'all didn't get to finish, right? Dang. Yeah, this Corona, this Corona thing that messed everything up, bro. Yeah, I, I, that would, I feel like everything happened for a reason. For sure. Who was y'all going to play against? Our next game was against Oregon. University of Southern Oregon, my bad. Southern Oregon. Okay, okay. I bet. Uh, most points you scored in the game? We, we're going based off – so I'm going to base it off Anything each you, level you, as far as – probably AAU. I, I know I didn't put up 38 in AAU. Just hoping like with all, like with all the guys, like 38. Uh, high school, I say about 25. And then as I got older – Things start to get a little bit harder as far as like it's really like everybody, everybody that's there is meant to be there. So it's like for sure. Junior college, this is my stat line in junior college: uh, twenty-one points, twenty-nine rebounds, seven assists, and like four blocks in one game. We played Jolly. Oh, you? That was going crazy. Yep. That was playing JJC. Yep. That was at, when I was at Morton. Then just this last season, just passed. Uh, -huh. uh, I had, but how many points I had? What, like, what was the stat line? Like, it was a crazy number, bro. Like, I was there, like, I, I basically repeated almost what I did in junior college. Uh -huh. I was closest for a quadruple double. I just didn't have, I had, uh -huh. I had like six blocks, but I had eight assists. But the numbers was that I had my bad, my phone was no, you, you, you good. Nine rebounds and I had it was either twenty or twenty two points. Cause I remember the was even when he was odd. Crazy stats, bro. Going crazy. And yeah, and I'm mad, bro. We never got the hoop as far as AAU, you know what I'm saying? With it with uh with, hey, what's the name of that team, bro? With Drew and them? Uh, me, you, Jay. Uh, me, you, Jay. Uh, me, you, Jay. Uh, Johnny, Jonathan. Uh, man, that was a crazy team, bro. We didn't never get the hoop together, bro. I'm trying to think who else was on that team. Was DT on the team with us? Lil was with us. DT was on the team under us. 
That was a deep. That's right. That's right. Bro, we had a squad, but we just ain't never get to hoop together, bro. That was wild. Uh, who's your favorite teammate ever? Do you do college, high school, whatever? Oh, somebody that you that you play with, either y'all click, you know what I'm saying, or he easy to hoop with, you know, whatever, whatever you you feel. That I didn't click with like right away. I'll probably go with. Oh, be careful, bro. I know. <laughs> time. All time. I'm gonna go ahead and go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with something recent. Uh, he my best friend now, but uh, it was a point guard. He was a backup point guard as far as like uh, at my school I'm at now. It's, mm-hmm. It was just. It just everything just happened like boom, boom, boom. As far as like anything off the court or on the court, it was everything. Was, so, he made it easier for you. Yeah. So talk about talk about that. When you went to that school, you know what I'm saying? What was – how did you adapt to it? How did you adapt to it, you know, that new school and, and playing in that new system? How was that? I had to do it on the fly, too, because uh, at NIA, NIA, you could come in in the halfway semester mark and play that second half of the semester. Uh-huh. So when I did that, it was just like – the first game, I'm like – I feel like it was a test of faith as far as, like, I wasn't really getting in, bro. I'm like – why he got me playing, like risking my eligibility for a whole year, and, I, and I'm not. Yeah. Right now. So uh-huh. that was the thing with me. And then probably like two games after that, like I just I just stayed consistent with it. I probably I was probably getting like 15 minutes a game at first. Then like as like things got like the level of play got higher, and then like playoffs start coming, I'm starting to see 25 minutes a game, 30 minutes a game. Mm-hmm. So it just it was really me understanding what was going on as far as like the principles of what he wanted to do. And like just shifting my mindset from how I did things and doing it his way so I can get on the court fast. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you had to get, you know what I'm saying, get used to the system and everything like that. Once he started you start hooping, bro, he know he was like, all right, he gotta get more playing time. All right, bro, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Keep it on hundred, all right? I got you. Name one person that you played against that gave you work. Ooh. We all been there, bro. We all had somebody, you know what I'm saying, drop a quick 30 ball on us. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, I put you, bro. It was two people, bro. Same For sure. gym. But it's cool because right now, they was pros when it happened, too. Mm-hmm. Ryan Bo, right? Cold. Come on, bro. Bro, he cold. Come on, bro. Uh, Jacob Puller. Both Chicago natives. I'm a uh, proviso, right? East. AP went to East, yeah. Are you? Oh yeah, you. Hey, with them two, bro, you gotta expect that, bro. You know what I'm saying? That ain't. Hey, and, as long as they ain't putting no fifty ball on you, bro, you good. You know what I'm saying? Five, bro. It was like three games straight. What was y'all at? What was that? Uh, the old Saxon. What was that quest? Oh, okay, so this was recent. This was probably last summer, bro. Hey, I mean, why was that as far as like my man that come back to school, bro? He was like, You not <laughs> you wanna get hell you this you gonna have to work for it. And that's so it was a, it was an invite only? Yep. Oh, okay. So you know you know it wasn't gonna be no bonds in that mug. Everybody was hooping. I was it was the only two amateurs was me and Fred at the time. Fred Sims. Oh, okay, okay. From uh from Chicago State, right? Bet, 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 bet. Uh, was there anybody you played against that had you like, like a well-known player that you played against that had you like, oh man, I'm gonna play him, or was it just like, you know what I'm saying, I don't care who they is, I'm gonna foot on their neck, I'm gonna go at them. You know, probably when I was younger, it was one of those like, it wasn't even a person that that did it for me. It was like more so like the crowd as far as like me trying to do too much. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like as I got older, like and, hey, you start to mold me before I even mm-hmm. like. It was better. A, he was better. I was better to me than high school basketball. Like as I got older, like I was, I was living for them days. Like, like I don't know if you seen the video with Shump. Like when he was like, uh, "This what y'all talking about? Top of the nation? He gonna have to come see me." Yeah. Yeah, it was one of those. Okay, so you 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 was ready for it. You ain't care who it was. You were just like, "Hey, 
We're in the same gym on the same court. We got to play the same game. You tie your shoes the same way I do. We finna go at it. About to show me something. For real. You remember who it was or no? Nah, it was just like. Uh, honest, it was uh, for high school, it was, uh, what's his name? It was a Diego brother. He, went to, he ended up uh, going to IU. He was going to IU. He was in the same conference. Uh, what is his name? Connor Diego. Oh, from LT. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. From LT. Oh, yeah, he nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. From LT. He got a little brother too, right? Yep. Okay, I know you talking about. Yeah, I remember when we used to play them for OB. Um, uh, all right, favorite coach. My favorite coach of all time. I'm going with Drew. You already know that. Yeah. Uh, favorite coach. Uh, probably Coach Miller. Uh, at West for me. At West. So what? Did y'all had a connection, you know what I'm saying? How was y'all bond? It was like it was something I was really looking forward to as far as like my senior year. Like he he molded me from my freshman year of high school. He made sure I was on the right path. He always tried to bring me up to play varsity, but I'm like I told him like my freshman year I'm not I don't feel like I'm ready to play. And I and I knew I was gonna play behind my brother too, so mm-hmm. minutes was gonna be limited. So I, I wanted to like keep building myself up until I got so I wanted to be and then I'm I'm able to play that duo with my brother instead of being his backup, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Uh, favorite dunk? My favorite dunk. Probably one. It could either be yours, it could be a famous NBA dunk, whatever you want to go with. The best dunk I've ever seen was Aaron Gordon. When him, Which one? Thing went head to head, and he caught, and he caught it off the, uh, off the mascot spinning. That was the craziest dunk I've ever seen, bro. That's the one he should have won. Yeah. Uh-uh. That's the- I, I feel like they should have they let, it, let it be a tie. But, you know it's all hype, bro. You know they got to pick a winner, bro. They should have went, like I said, a tiebreaker, go another round. I feel like they should have let – that was the best dunk like this we ever seen, like, throughout. For sure. Yeah. But for, for sure. The best dunk is probably a windmill, just being realistic. For sure. Uh, when or how did you fall in love with the game? Uh, So basketball was some – it's something that's in my family's DNA in a way. Uh, mm-hmm. I had a lot of people just – playing as far as like uncles, grandfathers, stuff like that. My parents even played, so it was always around me even before I even knew what it was. For sure. So just it, the ball was pretty much given to you at a young age and you just ran with it? My parents had me open to all sports, but believe it or not, baseball was like my best sport like that I was good in. Uh-huh. Bas- I don't know what it was, but basketball just stuck with me. Okay, okay. Uh, talk about the difference between high school ball and college ball and how you had to adapt to it. Uh, the number one thing, probably your eating habit. Your coach going to you know, come in there, and it's going to be a high demand as far as, like, strength conditioning mm-hmm. uh, and just time management. Those are the three biggest things I think you, you that's going to be an adjustment from high school. Like, high school, you did whatever you wanted to do. You practice was pretty much you can you can pretty much ease your way out of practice. Like my teacher wanted me to go here so I can't Yeah. And for your degree, like you're gonna you gonna have to make some work. Was uh the game, you know, a lot of people tell me the game is a lot faster. Like I said, kinda of what you said with your conditioning. Pretty much the game is a lot faster and like I said, dudes are bigger, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be stronger, all that. So I was just was that was that a shock for you when you first got there? Everybody pretty much an athlete in college. Like it, you ain't gonna catch nobody that's not athletic as far as like it could be athletic as far as jumping, defensively, mm-hmm. like that. But they there for a reason. So good answer, bro. Um, I right, another one. If you could take five people from your city to play against another five worldwide for money, what five are you taking? You could do Chicago, you know what I'm saying? We we Chicago land, so if you want to do five from West, if you want to do five from Chicago land area, bro, it's up to you. I can't do it like this. I'll do two teams, but can I do one within our area that I grew up in playing basketball the first, then I'll go outside. For sure. Go ahead, bro. Within our neighborhood, Maywood, Bellwood, everything, Westchester, anything like that. Mm-hmm. 
honestly, I'll probably go with my older brother, Bam. So, Bucket. Uh, T. Lee. Uh, Bam T. Lee, myself. And give me a six man, too, bro, if you could. Okay, cool. Make it easier for you so you don't forget nobody. Call me. <laughs> I'm taking Brandon Jenkins. Uh, Bucket. Who else? David Cohn. From from uh York, right? Yes. And if I had to take a big just within our area. Let me see. I'm saying what big is it in our area? You got like I said, you got Sterling, you got that dude Gabe from OP. And the Gabe. I honestly I, I go with Sterling as far as like so everybody can like won't nobody be waiting on a break. Everybody pushing it. That's five right there. And then that six man. Uh huh. Who coming out the best for you? Javon. I was waiting on you. I was waiting for it, bro. I definitely was waiting for it. I right, bet now go Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Who you rocking with? Chicago. I'm going with Derrick Rose, Pat Bev, Anthony Davis, and Dwayne Wade. I'm adding myself into this. You can do that, you know what I'm saying? If you want to add you a six man into it. Uh, and just to top it off, honestly, who well, I feel like stuck on, uh, Benji. That's how you know you a Hooper, bro. Don't too many people know about Benji, bro, unless you a Hooper. Oh, man. Hey, shout out to you, bro, because I don't even think many people know about Benji, bro. You was on that documentary when it came out? Yeah. So, so, I, uh, do you think AAU has a neg- negative impact on the game of basketball? I feel like it has its pros and its cons as far as, like, it goes. Talk about. Like, certain strict college basketball players, college coaches want my bad. But I feel like it helps, like, players, like, going from high school basketball Back to AAU as far as like the amateur and the organized sport part. Mm-hmm. Balance out the tempo of the game and learn how to actually play the game as far as like a fast and steady pace back and forth. When to slow the ball down, when to keep keep it going, stuff like that. And just it helped learn how to become a leader. Like as far as like you're not just in that same coat as far as like with just your high school uh, teammates. You go on like say like you was at LP AAU. We teaming up like we're gonna like, we're gonna have a relationship. Outside of high school, as far as like when we playing, it's gonna be all love. But yeah, other for school is it's, it's that though. Like we ain't like we ain't homies. Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay. So you don't think as far as I know, a lot of people say when you get to hooping on AU, you would do stuff that you wouldn't do in the high school game. That's fact. You know what I'm saying? So like you, it may be like me and you may be hooping, and then you I might come down and pull a half court shot. But when I'm playing OP versus Provisor, so you know I'm not taking that shot. I'm gonna. Pass the ball, three passes, boom. That's what I'm saying. So you think that kind of get – so pretty much what I'm trying to say is, do you think people on the AAU team might be cold after 20 points a game? But then when you play against them in the high school game, he only putting up four points, he's not playing that much because it's hard to, you know what I'm saying, switch your, your style of play. Cause you, you know what I'm saying? For AAU, you could turn the ball over twice in a row, you might not get pulled out the game. But if you do that in a high school game, you turn the ball over one time, you're coming out the game. So do you – you know what I'm saying? Do you think that's a factor too? I do think it, it plays a factor as far as like you not knowing what to actually do as far as like do I do this over here and then how to do it together as far as like what's cool and what what's not cool. Yeah. But. Okay. Uh, give me your top five Chicago rappers, bro. Chicago rappers. Chicago first. Uh, her. Dirt, Flex, uh, Boss Great, and one more Chicago rapper. Chicago, 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 Chicago. We got a lot of them, though. I can't. I feel like I'm going to edge somebody off with this fifth. You ain't going to put the goat in there? Go to Chicago? Who? Chief Keith? I can't do it. It's, can't do it? He hasn't had a steady... 
we nah. I won't say <laughs> he was. He I feel like he brought back like that Chicago drill music as far as like he started a lot of like I don't know what's going on, but I feel like as far as like what's music what music really meant for, like I yeah. some of them surpassed him as far as like Dirk. He surpassed Keith as far as like not even like the streets, but like Dirk got to like females too. Like he's able to be diverse. His his crowd pretty much is his fan base. Yep. Uh, okay. That fifth one I'm gonna go with. Let me see, bro. You got Chance, you got King Vine, you got King Louie, you got Lil Bibby, you got Lil Reese. Uh, the soul artist. I'm trying to think. To switch it up. R. Kelly. Hey, that's a good one, bro. No. My man said R. Kelly. That's a legend right there, bro. What's going on right now? R. Kelly a lot of great hits. We probably hear off of right now. Hey, you ain't lying though, bro. People, you know what I'm saying? I don't all that is going on. That's completely different from his music side. And you know what I'm saying? What he got going on as far as musically. Like I said, he one of the greatest performers, singers, whatever you want to call them ever, bro. So besides all that, man, I wish people would just put that to the side. You know what I'm saying? Um any advice you would give to upcoming hoopers? You know that any advice that somebody gave you that worked for you? Uh, just stick to your craft. There's gonna be a lot of people that tell you you can't do something, uh, but you only can't do something when you put your mind that you can't do it. As far as mm-hmm. you working towards something, that's gonna help you later on in life, even if you don't get what you want to get. But it's gonna set you up to be great as far as like basketball. Mm-hmm. It's a lot more about life than to actually do the sport of the game. Like, it's a lot of stuff you can take on after basketball just from playing the sport itself. And and it's going to bring in a lot of relationships for you as far as, like, friends that you'll meet that you'll never have that bond with nobody else. So, for sure, good answer, bro. Um, last one, you think any – I guess you think I should have on here, you know, somebody that I might not be cool with, I need you to plug me with, you know what I'm saying? Anybody you can think of? Yes. Uh. Brandon Jenkins, my brother Bam, and I say Paris Lee. I can. I need you to. I need you to plug me with them because I, you know, I ain't really too familiar with them like that. So definitely, definitely plug me with them. You know what I'm saying? Just inbox me or whatever. Tell them to follow me. Whatever we can hit it up. All right, but like I said, appreciate you joining me, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know it's all love. Uh, for y'all that don't know, this my brother Zoe. You know what I'm saying? We went to two different schools, you know, but we all met, you know, through mutual people. You know what I'm saying? All love and respect every time we link up. So, appreciate you again, bro. Stay safe, bro, and uh, I'll holler at you. All right, bro. Stay safe. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.